Hey everybody, Monkey Puzzle here, and it is a lovely night in No Man's Sky on Zorblue Cap Getting. <laughs> but I'm not here to play No Man's Sky with you today. I'm here to give you a short tutorial on how to manipulate your game saves in No Man's Sky, whether you want to switch between ongoing saves or you want to start a fresh save and start all over again. So you can do all of the above and change your mind and go back and forth between them. It's also a good idea as a way to back up your save if you're worried about your data being corrupted. So when you're in game, before you do this, make sure before you exit out that you create a restore point. Either on one of these guys, right, that creates a save place here on the Dazern Wastes. Or if you're not by one of those, you can just go to your ship. And if you get in and then get out again, it's on the getting out that a restore point is created. Now we can get out of here and go over to options right here and quit to the desktop. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Now first here's Steam, my library. First thing you want to do before you do any of this is you go over to No Man's Sky in your library, right click, go down to properties, and in this updates tab, you want to make sure that this is unclicked, the enable Steam Cloud synchronization for No Man's Sky. This is a backup of your game save, and if something happens to your data, it would restore it from here, but right now we don't want to do that. We can turn this back on later. And it will prompt us which file we want to save, either the cloud one or the local one. And you'd probably choose the local one after doing all this. But anyway, we're going to leave that off for now. We're going to head and close out of there. We can put this away. Now, let me drag a folder over here. Now, this is the first folder you're going to deal with. This is your app data folder. So for me, let's get the full address there. It's C, users, monkey puzzle, app data roaming hello games no man's sky is where we want to go to another way to get to this place if you don't know if you don't want to follow this whole address is if you press your windows key and then type run sometimes just r will work and then in that little run command window type percent symbol uh, app data a p p d a t a percent symbol and then you go okay with that it's going to open it right here in roaming. So from roaming, if we started here, we can go ahead and go to Hello Games right there. No Man's Sky NMS. This is your save right here. So what I've done is I've created another folder that's just on my desktop called No Man's Sky. And I've got two folders in here. So one this is my stream game that I was streaming on YouTube Gaming, and I told people I would not play that game unless I was streaming. So that's in there where I left off. And this is my free play folder. This is where I play when I'm not recording so that I can go ahead and play without you know, messing up my continuity in my recorded game. And you could have any number of these that you wanted to have. That's just what works for me. So right here, this one is my free play game. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete it, send it to the recycle bin. Now over here in my stream game, we can go over here. So I'm going to copy this, not that, but this and paste it over here. Now you want to copy and paste because if you just drag it, uh, since they're both in the C folder, this would go over there and you wouldn't have a backup anymore. Okay, so that's in there now. So we should be able to go ahead and go to no man's sky again and once it starts up we should be in a different game it's pretty simple but there's nowhere in the game where it tells you how to do this i think they specifically don't want you to do this uh, but let's go ahead and speed through this part see if i got it right there you are See, now I'm on the space station where I left off my stream last. You can see I have a whole different ship in this game. Um, so yeah, I could go ahead now and start playing here. And I got a milestone <laughs> just from walking from here to there, <laughs> there to here. All right, I got my last unit to get 75,000. <laughs> anyway, 
let's go ahead and exit out of here again and quit to the desktop one more time yes i'm sure and i'll show you one more thing so here now in the uh, app data folder again we're just this time we're just going to completely delete this this is okay i could dig it out of the recycle bin if i wanted but i still have my two saves here right i've got my stream save and i've got my my free play safe so they're both safely in there now let's go ahead and start the game with this app data roaming hello games nms folder empty so again i gotta start my game i got all my icons cleaned off my desktop right now because i hid them all because it's so messy uh but let's go ahead and speed through this part again And look, we're at the beginning of a brand new game. Back where everything started. So I'm just somewhere else in the galaxy, some far edge of it starting randomly all over again. So I don't see any real exploit in doing this because you can still only explore as many planets as you have time for, basically. It doesn't help you explore anymore. Um, in fact, it's a setback because uh, you're going back to a previous point when you didn't have all that gear before. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. This is Monkey Puzzle. Now you're in better control of your saves for No Man's Sky. Any more info you have to contribute, please leave down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next thing. Bye-bye.